Good morning, San Francisco. Natasha here. Um, I'm going to my office holiday party tonight and I thought I would take you all through my casual, little glammed up, not too forced, not over the top makeup look for a night out during the holiday season. Um, all I have on my... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. All I have on my face so far is my favorite morning and night um, moisturizer. It's the Biosense Squalene Omega Repair Cream. I'm obsessed with it. I switched probably a year and a half ago and it's all that I use. Day, night, I'm obsessed. Every time I wash my face, I throw it on. It feels, um, yeah, light, not oily, not too sticky. It's just perfect for every day. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put on this Benefit um, it's kind of like a primer. It's called the Pore Professional. So I just squeeze about, this is never this hard, a little bigger than a pea size, maybe two peas. So I put it on my cheeks, and right here, and I just kind of rub it all over. It's really nice. It like smooths out your pores. It's super soft and buttery. I love it. Next, I go straight to my um, tinted moisturizer. I use the Laura Mercier in the color Natural. It's pretty much the base and foundation of any makeup look I do. If it's the summer and I'm going to the beach or gonna be out on the water, um, I'll like just wear this with maybe some powder, but I'm obsessed. Every single day I put it on, there's SPF in it. I love it it's a staple I actually just reordered um, I'm not out at all but I just reorder, reordered a tube during Black Friday because I know I'll need it and they had like a great 40% off sale or something so since I'm going out I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on I never wear foundation during the day but since we're doing an evening look um, right now I use the Marc Jacobs it's called the Genius Gel. The color I wear is 32 Beige Light. Um, I love this foundation. I never like the caked on look. I don't really wear foundation day to day. I actually don't wear foundation day to day. Um, but I use this little buff brush and I just kind of do a light coat all over. I like blending it into my hairline, going down below the jaw. Uh... I feel like everyone has a different routine for how they do their um, foundation, but I always like starting like on my cheeks because they're super rosy. And I kind of buff over to the nose, the jawline, and the hairline, like I said. I always make sure to cover the chin. And then I'll kind of hit my forehead last. And I always make sure it goes into the hairline. Um, and I will put a little bit on my eyelids. My eyes are very big, as I'm sure you've noticed. And I tend to have dark circles like 100% of the time. So this is just a light coverage all over the face. So after that, I um, use the Laura Mercier Compact Palette. This color is SC4. And it's my, I think this is my summer color. Yeah, this is my summer palette. And then I use the SC3 for like more winter combination. Um, and the palette's called the Secret Cam, the Secret Camouflage. The Secret Camouflage, that's it. So um, right now, since I just got back from Hawaii, um, I'm kind of blending the palettes, but I'll just go back over my really rosy cheek area. And then I'll kind of buff into the spots that I'm either, either having little breakouts with or spots that didn't, um, just are a little more pigmented, I guess. Okay, so I feel very concealed. Um, I would not typically do this step if it was just like a regular day look, but since I'm going out, um, I'm going to use the NARS, what's it called? The... Radiant Creamy Concealer. 
I love it. My sister recommended it to me. I've used it for like three years. I've literally had this one for like a year and a half because I don't wear it that much. Um, but the color is light to vanilla. So what I do with this is I just go under the eye. I actually probably should get another one. And then I'll go over the eye just to like, I don't know. Just do it. Okay, so we're gonna really buff that in. Blend it into the lash line. That is very white. We'll fix it. Um, just really brightens up those deep sockets. Okay. Um, now, I go straight into uh, this powder step. I do this one every day regardless of going out or not. So I love this MAC uh, Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder. I wear the color Medium Plus. It's pretty year round for me just because I don't do that much. I just do a little tap and then I'll kind of buff it under my eye, onto the chin, through the nose. A little swipe over the eyelid and on the forehead. It's very light. I don't, I don't like the powdery look on me. It's too heavy, um, but good to map things out. Next is bronzer. Uh, this is a drugstore hack that my sister showed me. It's called Butter, I don't even know what the brand is. It's called Butter Bronzer Phys Physicians Formula. Yes, I need a new one. Uh, the color is bronzer. I've used it. I switched over from all my other bronzers. I used to use NARS, Smashbox, um, the cute little one in like the purpley brown box. I think that one's benefit but I literally am obsessed with this one. It smells like my favorite sunscreen, Beach Bum. <sighs> Take me to the beach. So for this, I just go, I use this little angular brush. Um, Mac. I go up on my cheekbone on both sides, and then I always go against the hairline on the jaw, kind of feather it down, and then a little swipe on the nose. Um, my next step is my blush. I just started wearing blush like a year ago. My sister. Um, she's a good one. I use this little Tarte Compact. The color is insightful. It's very natural and I use this little like patted down brush. I just tap it and then I kind of smile and just pat around the apple of my cheek and draw it up. Same thing on the other side. And then I always tap a bit on my nose just to kind of make it look natural. So now that my face is done, I go straight into the brows because I feel like brows kind of start making me feel like my look is getting tied together. So I have two eyebrow pencils that I love. One is Anastasia and the other is this NYX cheapy one that I'm going to be using tonight. It's a little darker. I use the Anastasia one for day to day because it's really light and natural. And for my personal hair color and skin tone, I don't like when my brows are super Lady Gaga bold. I don't even know if she does a bold brow. I just keep it in mind. Um, but this color is taupe and I got it at Target and it was like 10 bucks. So how I do my brows, I just line the bottom and I fill in the top and I fill on the top, and then I'll kind of drag this down, and then fill in the little front part. I don't, like I said, I do not do this bold of a brow during the day, but it's holiday, so why not go for it? And then I take my little plush thing, I know there's a word for it, and I kind of just blend the hairs with the pencil. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. My brows are super uneven. Um, I think this is the thicker one and this one has like a weird gap curvature. So I try to make them look as similar as I can, but in photos, one always looks off. 
So the brows are done. The look is starting to come together. Sometimes, which I'll do now since I'm going out, I'll take this little Bare Minerals um, concealer coverage brush and I'll take my compact palette and I'll take a light color and just kind of line the underside. It kind of makes them pop and sometimes brushing through them with a feathered brush when I have a foundation on kind of rubs it away a little bit. So this kind of just, I just do it. What's next? I think it's mascara. I am obsessed with this one. I used to be a better than sex addict, but um, mascara is one of those things that I wear every single day. If I had to pick one item to take on Desert Island, it would definitely be mascara. So I was just going through them really quickly and I think that one's like 20 or $30. This is a complete lookalike, total steal. I think it's 10 or $12, got this at Target as well. You can order it on Amazon. I just got a pack of two for like 15 bucks. Such a steal. So for mascara, uh, I like to make my eyes a focal point. I don't really ever wear lipstick. If I do, it's a natural nude color or a soft pink that resembles my natural lip color. So I love a bold lash. My mom loves a bold eyeliner. Sometimes I'll do that, think of her. So I always start at the bottom. <laughs> I start at the bottom. Uh, I start at the bottom <laughs> and I make sure that the root of the lash is heavily coated because I feel like that kind of already creates the illusion of eyeliner. And then I go over the top and kind of just feather the top ones out. Love! Such a difference. Then I'll do the other eye. I guess I'll do it over here. This is very up close and personal. I don't know how I feel about that. And then go over the top again. If I'm going out, I'll usually do two coats. I used to be obsessed with the clumpy look, but I kind of like the natural feathery look now. Okay. One more. Just to make sure everyone feels happy. Okay, the lashes are done. As you can tell, there's like a lot of stuff going on. I have really big eyes and my eyelashes are super curly, very flippy. I don't think I've ever curled my eyelashes ever, but they're just very, they're just very curly. So I always like to clean up my lid, especially daytime, but actually just anytime. Um, so I use the same Bare Minerals. Kind of weird. <laughs> Usually I'll put it in coconut oil. Uh, but I just go over my lid and I'll kind of clean up any smudge marks. And it just leaves you with a really clean lid. So much better. Now, now that my makeup, that my face is done, um, now that my face is done, I'll go back with the same bronzer that I used. So whatever look I'm going for or whatever bronzer I used for that day, it's usually this one. I'll kind of go through on the crease of my lid and just add a little bit of shadow. I love this. Sometimes I even do it during the day. Actually, I've done it like twice during the day. But um, sometimes when I'm sick, putting makeup on makes me feel better. Placebo effect, for sure. I think those are the two times I've done it. But I'll just kind of... Uh, yeah, just like keep going until it feels dark enough. I have palettes of eyeshadow and I literally do not use them. I think this is my hack. It makes the whole look feel cohesive and together. So that's that. And there's only really two other things that I do. 
My mom gave me this Givenchy highlighter that has become a daily staple for sure. There's no color or label on it at all, but it's like this iridescent goo. <laughs> and I usually just use whatever's left on the cap when I open it. So I'll tap my finger on it. And I paused because my sister always says that I do this wrong, but I really like to put some under my eye because my eyes are so big. And like I said before, I have really dark circles under my eyes. So I'll kind of feather it. I don't know why I keep using that word. I'll pat it up and then wrap it around to my brow bone. And then, can I tap it in? I always like to put a little on the inside of my eye if I'm going out and I'll kind of drag it across the top of the lid that I just did shadow on. And I love that. I think it's super natural. Uh, I'll do the same on the other side. Yeah, my sister's like, do you know highlighter goes on your cheekbone, not under your eye? And I'm like, I actually did know that. I don't know how this whole under eye highlight thing started, but I literally do it every day. Sometimes I'll literally just have the tinted moisturizer on, mascara, and this, and I just love it. And once it dries, it mats out a little bit, but I just think it looks super awake and fun and festive. And then the last thing I'll do, which I don't really know if I want to do, but I'm going to do it, is this, uh, is eyeliner. I got this one at Target. I was at my boyfriend's house and I forgot my eyeliner. So I just stopped and got this one. It's Revlon, but I actually really like it. It's the color Stay Sharp line in Blackest Black. Um, and I used to love the wing eyeliner, but for some reason, I don't know, I've been straying away from it. I kind of like the more natural, thick, bold lash line, like I said, and I feel like that's a very holiday look. So I think for tonight, I'll probably just do the lash line thicken up. I'm going to call it that. And I'll kind of just go like this. I'll do it on this side now always my harder side okay this is pretty much my completed look another daily staple that I like to wear when I'm out is this Kopari lip glossy it's I'm pretty sure pure coconut oil but this is a staple my friends know this is always like an add-on that I put on gifts just because once someone tries it they become addicted and I get texts all the time like, oh my gosh, my Gopari thing just ran out. It's just, it's a great piece. Um, and then since I'm going out, I'm also going to throw in some lipstick. Like I said, I like to stick to neutral colors. I'm not a huge nude nude person because my lips are kind of big. It looks creepy. But um, this color that I love is from MAC. It's the color Angel. It says Frost above it, but I'm pretty sure the name of the lipstick is Angel. It's really pretty. So I actually need to get a lip liner, but I've never worn it. I've only tried friends and I really like it. Uh-huh. The perfect holiday look. Uh, thanks for watching. Still getting used to this, but um, thanks for watching. See you soon.